to you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye, in the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass this morning. It's very good to see you. So we offer this Mass for ourselves, for those who are dear to us, for our parish, for all who live and work within its bounds. We offer it to the praise and glory of Almighty God. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and our shortcomings. We say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon, and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God, the giver of life, whose Holy Spirit wells up within your church. By the Spirit's gifts, equip us to live the gospel of Christ and make us eager to do your will, that we may share with the whole creation the joys of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Sin entered the world through one man, and through sin, death. And thus death has spread through the whole human race, because everyone has sinned. If it is certain that through one man's fall so many died, it is even more certain that divine grace, coming through the one man, Jesus Christ, came to so many as an abundant free gift. If it is certain that death re reigned over everyone as the consequence of one man's fall, it is even more certain that one man, Jesus Christ, will cause everyone to reign in life who receives the free gift that he does not deserve of being made righteous. Again, as one man's fall brought condemnation on everyone, so the good act of one man brings everyone life and makes them justified. As by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. But however great the number of sins committed, grace was even greater. And so, just as sin reigned wherever there was death, so grace will reign to bring eternal life, thanks to the righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here, Here I, I am, Lord, Lord I, I come, come to do, do your will. will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. 
You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. Here, here I, I am, Lord. Lord. I, I come, come to do, do your will. will. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Here, here I, I am, Lord. Lord. I come, I come to, to do, do your, your will. will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O Lord. Here, Here I am, I am Lord. Lord. I come, I come to, to do, do your, your will. O let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say, the Lord is great, who love your saving help. Here, Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, See that you are dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like men waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast, ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Happy those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. I tell you solemnly, he will put on an apron, sit them down at table, and wait on them. It may be in the second watch he comes, or in the third, but happy those servants if he finds them ready. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father. We pray for our church, especially at this time, for those newly elected to the General Synod of the Church of England, for those whose responsibility it is to discern a new bishop for this diocese and a successor to Bishop Jonathan, We pray God's blessing upon our forthcoming parish pilgrimage to Walsingham. And we pray for all the members of our worshipping family in their homes and in their places of work today. That through the power of the Spirit, God will build up this community in holiness. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who represent us in national life, in government, national and local. We pray for the preparations for the forthcoming climate change conference in Glasgow. We pray for a new world order in which peace and justice prevail. Lord, in your mercy, we remember the sick. We pray especially for Claire, Dennis, Finley, Julie, Jill, Tony, Anne, Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, Hannah, Terence, Dorothy, Mike, Liz, Joanne, Tim, and Cecily. We pray for those who are housebound, for all those who continue to shield themselves from the coronavirus. We pray for all who support and 
help others in their needs and sickness, people who work in our National Health Service, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we give thanks to you, Father, for all those who we love but see no longer. All those who have faithfully served in this parish and are now at rest. and all those who've died with no one to pray for them. And we commend the living and the departed to the gracious intercession of Mary, the mother of the Lord, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. we bring before the Father our own personal needs and prayers. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By one spirit we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of the cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things 
and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of Mary the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, our been our beloved patron and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ for the kingdom, 
the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. The Son of Man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. Let us pray. God, our Father, whose Son, the light unfailing, has come from heaven to deliver the world from the darkness of ignorance, let these holy mysteries open the eyes of our understanding, that we may know the way of life and walk in it without stumbling. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you.
May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and forevermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.